Erin Shank, and I am the founder of Damselfly Transformations, which is a women's wellness and empowerment coaching practice. As a leader, educator, coach, and mentor in the field of education for over three decades, I've had the opportunity and the privilege of working with countless individuals on their professional, personal, and academic journey of growth and learning. Now as a professional coach with my own practice, my main focus is working with women and empowering them to create lives of purpose, joy, direction, and inner peace. So in my practice, one-on-one -on -one with clients, or in my workshops, or in my talks, I encourage women to align their lives with their authentic selves. And so that their actions and their behaviors and their decisions and choices every day reflect who they are, what they want, uh, what their goals are, and what their core values are. And so for accomplishing this and for helping women move towards this kind of life, I use a lot of different met methodologies. But two of my favorite and two that I'd like to talk about in this video today are visual uh, visionary expressionism and chakra inspired self-exploration. So what are these two methodologies? So the first one, visionary expressionism, is when we work on this, when I work on this with women, I guide women in diving deep into um, their subconscious, into their imagination, into their psyche, so that they can uncover and excavate those core values that are super important to them. Their strengths, their areas for growth, uh, their biggest dreams and aspirations. And we do that using artistic creativity. So a variety of different artistic um, expressions, using different mediums to allow women to dig deep into who they are. Another methodology that I use um, is chakra inspired self-exploration. So here, using the framework of the chakras, of the seven chakras, we again, um, I help women dive into their psyche, their spirit, and learn about themselves through the exploration of the chakras. And here we use mindfulness practices, we use meditation, and we use visualizations. So these are the two of the methodologies, among others, that I use to help women move towards that life of purpose, of joy, and of inner peace. Now, a second major core topic that I address in my coaching and in my speaking engagements and my workshops is how to navigate life's most challenging experiences, right? Because our ability to create a life that's purposeful, that has direction, that has inner peace, very much depends on our capacity and our ability to move through those more difficult moments and experiences in our lives that happen. They happen unexpectedly, um, they happen regularly, it's just part of being a woman on this planet, right? So a big part of what uh, I support women in doing is learning how to navigate these experiences. So now, you know, that could be um, anything from balancing being a young mom who's really wanting to move forward in a career, or maybe navigating difficult relationships, or maybe getting through uh, a difficult divorce, or an illness, or uh, making a, a, a significant lifestyle change. So whatever that challenge, that obstacle, that transition that you're navigating as a coach, my goal, one of my goals is to help you do that. So to do that, I explore with, with women um, three levels at which, or three perspectives, if you will, or three levels at which we can face these challenges. Three ways we can come at these challenges and these transitions, if you will. 
So the first level I call subdued defeatism. So when we're at the level of subdued defeatism, defeatism when we're facing something difficult in our lives, um, we tend to come at it with a level of victimization. We tend to feel like we have little or, no, or very little or no control over what is happening to us. So we tend to get beaten down by the experience. And we come out the other side with a significant, a significant amount of collateral damage. So that collateral damage can be a loss of a job, a loss of a relationship. It could be the development of a substance abuse disorder. So that's the first level or way that we can navigate, or it's possible that we're navigating an experience or a transition in our life. The second level of navigation I call static endurance. So static endurance, um, there is very little collateral damage when we're in static endurance, when we're facing or navigating experiences, but there isn't any growth either. So we feel we have some amount of control, but our control lies in just bearing through the experience. So just digging our heels into the ground, grabbing on our chair and just going, I'm going to get through this. I'm going to get through it and surviving it. So that's the second level. And the third level of navigating these challenges, these transitions in our lives, I call transformative resilience. So transformative resilience is an empowered way to move through these experiences in our life. So here we develop skills that allow us to really grab on to whatever we're going through and squeeze out of it every ounce of wisdom, every ounce of learning, every ounce of experience and knowledge and skill that we can so that we come out of the experience transformed, evolved as women. So we come out of the experience with even more purpose, more drive and more inner peace and joy. So how do we do that? And that's a big part of what I help women do, what I support women in doing. So first of all, it's important to know that there's no shame to be had in being at any of these three levels. And all of us at certain times in our life and in certain situations have found ourselves either at level one, level two, or level three. The great thing is, and what's to be remembered, is that we can learn to move to be mostly and more often in that third level, which is transformative resilience. So I help women either one-on-one -on -one or in my workshops or talks to identify where they find themselves. So at this point in my life, living this experience, am I in static endurance? Am I in transformative resilience? Or am I in subdued defeatism? And once you know where you are, then we can work on developing the skills. You know where you are, why you're there, What's holding you back from moving forward into the second level or the third level? Is it a skill? Is it a mindset? Is it a, 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 a reframing of a belief that you have? Is it learning something new? So I support m women in moving through that. So these are two core topics, if you will, that I um, discuss, that I explore with women. Um, to help them grow and to help to create the, their very best life. And um, like I said, I do this through my one-on-one -on -one coaching. I do this through workshops and I also do this through speaking. Um, so if you are interested in working with me on any of these topics and on the skills and the competencies for growth and learning and transformation, I invite you to reach out to me. You can reach me at joanne at damselflytransformations.com. That's my email. You can visit my website, which is damselflytransformations. I also have a blog. It's damselfly lessons along the way. And I also have a YouTube channel where I offer a series of meditations. So I'll 
I'll indicate, I'll put these links with this video so you can take a look at them. And uh, I look forward to connecting and maybe joining you on your journey of transformation and learning.